the Taifex Anuga Asia 2022. I'm right here in the middle of the event and I can't wait to taste some yummy, yummy food. Follow me. Wow. So apparently that was mixed vegetables, you said? Yes. No sugar, no additives whatsoever, but it tastes really sweet. That was delicious. Thank you so Thank much. You. Collecting food. Then mango the, sticky rice. Yes. Oh. Wow. Mango sticky rice. Like mm. Yummy. Will I get high from this? Right. Will I get no, like no all? All. <laughs> all right. White curry noodles. And this is Malaysian style. Yeah. Okay. How's it different from the Thai ones then? Um, more spicy. More spicy. Yeah. Ah. Let's see about that. It is spicy though. This is really good. Tomato with sauce. And what is that one? It's yogurt with uh, based on mixed food. Oh, yogurt? Yeah. Mm. Mala flavor. Mm. <clears throat> ambassador to Thailand, Kun Lorenzo Galanti. Ciao, Kun Lorenzo. Ciao, Nati. Hi. First and foremost, I love Italian food. So I'm pretty excited to be talking about Italy's participation in the Thai Fex this year. Now, as I was walking through the event, I noticed that there's a lot more participating companies from the Italian side. In your opinion, why do you think there's more Italian companies joining the uh, Thai Fex this year than the previous one? So this year is a special year because the Typhex Anuga Hybrid Edition is in fact very much as an in-person uh, edition. So there's a, a lot of companies and from Italy we are actually, we reached 62 companies participating, which is a record. Uh, and that uh, tells, speaks volumes about uh, the eagerness of Italian companies to bring their new products to a market like Thailand and to a fair like Typhex Anuga, which is not only about Thailand, but it's, it's about the wider region because the fair itself has been growing a lot. And then it speaks a lot about how much Thai people love Italian cuisine, which is, of course, something that makes me very proud of. And I, each time I promote Italian cuisine, I feel like I'm opening a door which is wide open already. <laughs> but then there's a lot of, of new products of very tasty, uh, innovative uh, products that are coming from Italy and that are on display this year at Typex. Is there a certain product or F&B service from Italian companies that you would like to draw attention to specifically at the pavilion this year? Well, I have been doing a tour of uh, all the companies here at the pavilion and I have been tasting several of their products. And I must say, I must say, they. They, they, they product tastes amazing. <laughs> Even for me, I'm Italian. I eat Italian every day. But what they have on offer is extraordinary. I wouldn't uh, specify or single out any particular product because I would like every one of you to come and try, uh, to come and you know taste from the wines, very different types of wines, uh, to all the different sorts of uh, condiments, of pasta, of... Uh, sweets, cakes, and, uh, and the like. So no, nothing in particular, just everything is extraordinary. I'm very excited to walk around after the interview and try a lot of stuff. But before I go, I do want to ask you also, can you please tell us a little bit about the Italian trade agency's relationship with Lasmal and what that brings to the Thai consumers? That's a very innovative uh, tool and the relationship that we developed with Lasmol, Lasmol being perhaps the largest uh, e-commerce portal in Thailand at the moment. Uh, what we are doing is we are giving Italian small and medium enterprises, which are actually the 
backbone of our uh, food industry, the opportunity to access uh, the e-commerce market in Thailand, which means that we provide uh, services, we advise them, we help them find good advice on how to build their own brand on Lazada. We, we're having quite, quite good results from that collaboration, so we're quite happy to continue working with, with Lazada also in the future. I think that's a really smart move because this is the era of digital. So now people right. can access it both in the trade and also online as well. Can you give us your top reasons to why people should visit the Italian pavilion this year? To taste the delicacies, to, to let themselves uh, guide into the different tastes of Italian products that are on display here. And there are very many and many are completely new to the Thai market. So I really suggest that you come here and have a good time, enjoy uh, what you can taste and perhaps try to see if you want to continue that experience at home or at an Italian restaurant. Great message. Okay, thank you very much, Colorenzo, for your uh, insights and I can't wait to walk around here. Thank you very much. Sorry thank you. Sorry so I'm right here at the Laz Mall or the Lazada booth. It's in conjunction with the Italian Trade Agency. What they are doing right here is that they're providing all the Italian companies that are joined here at Tyfex. They're giving you QR codes so you can scan at the event and get a 50% discount off any products or services that they have to offer. So if you can't get it here, you can enjoy it back at home. This is my most favorite part of the Italian pavilion, the wine testing station right here. Can you pour me the best wine you have? Of course. Wine? What, Jay? Where did you come from? I don't know, you said wine and I just showed up. I got teleported here. Hello, viewers. Come back here, come back here. Where are we? We're at the Italian pavilion and we are about to do some wine testing. Merch, Thank you. I knew it, I knew today was my lucky day. Ooh, this smells so good. This place, yes. Can I ask you what is this? So this one is Prosecco Superiore from the region called Veneto. And it is made from the grape called Clara. So it's, it's very special, this one. So this is imported? Um, yes, this is already imported in Thailand. Nice. You don't get any because no, you're not special. <laughs> <laughs> do I have to cheers? We need a yes. cheers. How do you say cheers in Italian? Salute. 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 Here at Typex, there are a lot of brands that you might have never even heard of before, but probably tasted when you came for a trip to Thailand. They've got coconut juice, they've got dry fruit, they've even got the masala as in the spice powder that you might enjoy in your favorite Penang or Papal curry. So let's take a look at all the different types of brands that are available here uh, for sale at Thai Fex in India. Right guys, this is a prime example of a product that you might have tried before. You can actually buy this in 7-Eleven. It's actually produced by a company called Asia Tick. Now, I've never heard of that company before, but this is how things are over here. Companies like Asia Tick, K-Fresh, CP, Surly, they come out with your favorite products. And even though you don't realize it, you can come and taste those products here. And they come up with their new products, new releases, and even uh, they do taste tests over here for any upcoming products. So let me go have a quick taste of what Asia Ticks come up with this year. Mm. Wow, this is really good. Frozen coconut juice with ice. It's gonna be really popular, especially considering the hot weather in Thailand. You also have the opportunity to try freshly cooked products here. Like for example, that, that booth has two chefs where they, they will actually cook the product for you and you can try it fresh only here at Typex. everyone. So say if you're a vegan or vegetarian, 
you might want to head over to the first pride booth where they sell plant-based stuff in the thai style i don't know if it's good let me go try so i just picked up a couple of nuggets there is the normal nugget and also the spicy chicken nugget Honestly, it looked like the real deal. This is what I would expect from a fast food chain. Now let me give it a go. This is what it looks like. Holy beep. It tastes exactly like a normal chicken nugget. I cannot tell that this is plant-based at all. Really good. Good job, First Pride. There's a huge line behind me because this is Udom Supply. I don't know what company that is, but apparently they've got Wagyu beef. So I'm going to go check how good their meat is. All right, I finally got a piece. I'm going to taste some now. It just melts in your mouth. It's like that proper wagyu with like a really good percentage of fat inside the meat. Literally just melts in your mouth. Yeah. Right, we're now at my favorite snack of all time. This is what I ate while growing up. This is tao ganoi. This is seaweed. I've never really had it in such a small pack like this, but uh, this seems like something for little kids. This is it nice? Oh, look at this beautiful piece of seaweed. Very crunchy, very nicey. I try to eat it with my mask on. So Jay, my bag of goodies is yeah. full, yeah. my belly is full, yeah. and my heart is so full yeah. of yummy goodness. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, me too. I actually ended up having a lot of dry fruits. There was a whole dry fruit section here <laughs> during the Thai side, and I just over eight because I also had food at the Italian side and that's what really attracted me because they had some live cooking stations so I could try the new pasta and stuff and also some truffles they had a boost of truffles how about you what was your favorite uh, part hands down the Prosecco oh the wine tasting. I had yeah. a couple of glasses not gonna lie but it was so good I couldn't put the glasses down well if, if you love Italian food Italian wine Italian truffles then visit the Italian side. There's also a huge section here at Typhex uh, for the Thai food. So yeah, uh, Typhex is a great place if you want to discover new brands of food for your business, for your restaurants. Uh, if you want to take it overseas for your friends uh, to start a new business, it's a great opportunity, place to be if you're into, in the food business. That was a lot of good food here. I uh, can't wait to go next year, wherever that may be. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.